Hi there, welcome to Kitchen Counter and Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe? I'd love to give you a review and an unboxing today of the Pilot Namiki, and I am so excited. It's the Pilot Falcon fountain pen in black and gold and fine, and it was a very early Mother's Day gift, so I haven't even opened it yet. I'm super excited because I wanted to do an unboxing, so I'm gonna move the flowers and my card out of the way so that they don't make my work area look too crazy busy. But I am so excited to get this one open. And I don't know if you can, but the birds are outside chirping. And yes, it is daytime. I am not making a nighttime video. So join me on this unboxing of one of my like holy grail pens. So I'm just super excited. So it comes in a sleeve box like this it's just cardboard and then there's a like a window and then the lovely pen kind of just sitting in here and i am super excited to open this up so it has a sticker of sf and it's i guess super fine but i mean it says fine on the box so that's really what um, i'm expecting it to be and then if we raise this up, it's just kind of cheapy plastic. There is a cartridge. And I think this cartridge, it looks like a blue-black. And then the care and the guide for the Namiki. And um, I wanted this especially because it is a flex pen. And so I'm online on the Facebook page for fountain pen enthusiasts and they they kind of are enablers there I'm just going to tell you and everybody's been just talking about this pen so yes I do believe that that cartridge is the blue black as it says here so um I have not inked this yet I'm very excited I wanted to wait to do an unboxing video and talk about it and just see how this would come to par. But my husband got this for me with his, uh, he got a code from Pen Chalet for his birthday. And so he actually used it on me and not on him. That is just sacrifice and love, I think. And I'm not even his mother, I'm his wife. So, so sweet. So um, you twist this open and it's got this beautiful nib on there. Um, and it's supposed to like look like a falcon or like a falcon beak or the talon, I think. So that's why the, the nib has this really weird looking dip in there. And this is supposed to be a 14K. So let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit more and see what that says. So it is supposed to have a gold nib on there and flex for me. So. Anyway, super excited about that, and since I'm blind, I can't really see what it says on there, so I'm going to just have to kind of go with it. So here's the converter when you undo it, and it has little mixing beads in there for your ink uh, so that it doesn't, um, you know, like if, you're, if, if it's settled down or settled in or whatever. So you just twist it, twist on the top, and I am filling it today with the Diamine Oxblood, which I received a while ago, I think it's Christmas time, and it's been another one of those inks that has been kind of like a holy grail ink too, and it's really, really, really pretty. So let's ink this up, and that was another part of my like weight was to say, okay, you know how, like what ink do I put in here? What do I do? So you just kind of twist it down and up until it fills up your reservoir. And then I just kind of touch it to the side. And you always want to make sure that you cap your ink because I have made the mistake and just been talking because I talk with my hands and just knocked it here to there and everywhere and get this part off because you're gonna be holding your pen there and I also like to just kind of wipe off the excess so it doesn't dry on there there we go okay I'm so excited and this is right out of the box I have not rinsed it I haven't done anything to it 
And so I'm excited to see how this writes. The pen can be capped. I don't even know any of the dimensions or anything. I'm so excited to use it. I'm just kind of going into the unboxing right off the bat. And so I will post the, the dimensions and the specifications on it. So the first paper that I like to practice on is just regular, uh, this kind of crummy paper, just a legal pad that you pick up for like a couple bucks just to see. So this is, oh, look at that. And it's writing right off the bat. Oh man, you've got to love that, right? Okay, that's the Pilot Falcon. I hope you can see it. And this is, I'm gonna put the Mickey on there because that's a part of the name. And then this is um, Diamine Ox blood ink so the diamine inks i have found that they run a little bit wet so you're going to see some you know some of it kind of come through there it is coming through on the back but again this is just really cheapy crummy paper but there's not any feathering that's happening so it's writing pretty well so if you just want to kind of jot down stuff on here that looks really nice the next thing i have is my moleskin or moleskine or whatever it is. Um, and I'll tell you, it's not the best because I started writing some scripture in here just as a part of like journal journaling and journal entry. And it, it just comes through. I don't know, can you see it in the back? So it's just, the ink kind of flows through and it is really not my, my favorite. I started off writing, I'm gonna go out. And I actually um, had to start all over and do like a test page of, was it my ink that was just kind of, look at that, it just comes gushing through. So I'm gonna test it on here real quick. So this is gonna be my Pilot Falcon and Diamine. Ox blood ink. So the color looks pretty because it's a creamy paper, but look at that. It's coming right through as well, but you know, okay, that's okay. I'm actually gonna write and do a writing sample um, as well for you so that you can see if it'll do it on here. So a lot of times people like the flexing. Oh my. I mean, it's just flexing really beautifully. Everybody was right. They were so right. And I'll do the, so that you can see how wet that is. Yeah, that's pretty wet. Um, and you can even see the, the wetness on there, but boy, that's gorgeous. So pretty. And um, let's see, here's my, better paper and so that's my Rhodia dot pad and let's do a sample on here so that you can see I love the dots And there's that. Just some pressure on down strokes and really a wet ink as well. But you can kind of see some of the shading on the dime on the um Rhodia paper, what am I trying to say? A little bit better. And uh, I'll tell you, it's not my favorite to write on, uh, mainly because it is like a kind of thicker paper. And a lot of the times I'm just using my fountain pen on cheap paper. 
that's why I think um, it's it's good to just have some sort of a, a sample on there as well. And so I am going to do a writing test. I'm gonna do it in here because I like writing scripture. So you can hang out with me as I write out a portion of Philippians. So I'm gonna write uh, first. First Philippians 1 and a, a portion of that and uh, I'll be quiet so that you can hear um, how well the pen actually writes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where am I? What part am I writing? Oh right, verse 20. Actually, I'll start a little bit earlier, and it is called To Live as Christ. And I'm trying to flex a little bit here, um, but because this is fine, it doesn't really give you much of that um, showing right now. Uh, plus, I'm trying to be careful when I'm writing in here because it's hard to change it once it's committed to your journal. Okay, so this is a portion of scripture to live as Christ. And yes, I will rejoice for I know that through your prayers and the help of the spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance. I will not be at all ashamed, but that will with full courage now as always, Christ will be honored. So that's one of the first things that I wanted to write um, in my, like with my pen, just something about God and, you know, all things come through his hands and I'm going to just now write um, the regular like quick brown fox so let's see if I can flex a little bit here um so just a little bit You can definitely feel it when you're writing it. Um, I think I'm gonna just have to kind of go a little bit more and just see. I think I'm scared because I'm right, having it right out of the box and to like sit there and flex, although you can see it in the S's for sure. So, and I do love just writing the alphabet um, because you can see it in that. Yeah. yeah, you can see that, can't you? I, J. Well, here's what I'm going to say. It is writing like a dream. And it's everything everybody was hyping it out to be. I mean, you saw me just take it right out of 
the box and use it. And it is, I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. I, I couldn't be happier and I think that it was well worth it. And so until the next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking about getting a pilot Falcon, I would encourage you to do it, especially if you love to write as I do. And if you love to flax and utilize um, just a little bit of variation in your ink and in your color. So hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for hanging out with me while I was just jotting down a little bit more. Till next time. Bye.